no man cannot hinder me. Ride on, King Yahshua. No man cannot hinder me. Ride on, King Yahshua. Ride on, no man cannot hinder me. No man cannot hinder me. No man cannot hinder me. Good morning, class. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Dr. Katherine Smith. I'll be your moderator for this class session. Welcome to the Institute of Divine Metaphysical Research. This is a school and not a church, and neither are we affiliated with any religious organization. This school is a non-profit, non-denominational religious and scientific research organization dedicated to showing proof of the existence of Yahweh, our Elohim, and the operation of His eternal purpose, pattern, and plan operating throughout eternity to this present day. This school was established as a result of a divine vision and revelation given to our founder, Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley, in the state of Ohio in the year 1931. We were incorporated in the state of California in the year 1958. <coughs> Since that time, we have established branch schools throughout the United States, Canada, and certain other foreign countries. The Memphis branch was established in 1973. In this school, we use the true, correct, and original name and title of the Father, the Word, our Son, and the Holy Spirit as contained in the original Hebrew text. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. This has been improperly substituted with Lord. The true title of the word our son is Elohim. This has been improperly substituted with God. The name of the Holy Spirit manifested in or out of a physical body is Yahshua. This has been erroneously substituted with Jesus Christ. Now Lord and God are titles and not names. The Apostle Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, tells us in 1 Corinthians 8 and 5 that there are Lord's many and God's many. But we now know that each Lord must have a name and each God must have a name also. Elohim is a title, but unlike Lord and God, Elohim is a divine title. That means Elohim is the title that our Creator chose for Himself. Jesus is a name, but it is an erroneous name. A minor investigation on your part in a good dictionary or encyclopedia would prove that neither the Hebrew language, the Greek language, nor the Latin language have any characters or letters in their alphabet that will produce the sound that's made by this letter J. And neither was there a letter J in the English language until some 1600 years after the Messiah's death. Therefore, such names as Jesus and Jehovah are impossible renderings of the true, correct, and original name of our Heavenly Father and His Son. Christ is a title, just like Lord and God. Yahweh is pure spirit, and in this state He is incomprehensible, inscrutable, and indiscernible. He is the ultimate source, substance, limits, and bounds of everything. We have Yahweh in his pure spirit state symbolized on this chart as a cloud. Now, Yahweh is not a cloud. He merely chose a cloud to symbolize himself because a cloud has no particular or descriptive shape or form. We've drawn this cloud all around the edges of this chart. 
to show you that everything on this chart is within the cloud. In like manner, everything in the universe abides within the pure spirit state of Yahweh. Yahweh knowing that man could not perceive of him in this pure spirit state took on shape and took on form right within himself as Yahweh Elohim. This is the word or son, a superincorporeal being, that is, having the shape and form of a man, but without flesh and blood. Now this form can only be seen in divine vision and understood in divine revelations. Later on, this self-same spirit manifested himself in a physical body and walked the earth plane as Yahshua the Messiah, whom the world calls Jesus Christ. Now, there's only one name given unto salvation, and we must know that name. So the simple yet intelligent question we should ask ourselves is, what was the name of the Savior during the time he walked the earth plane? A further understanding of this name and title may be obtained by reading the preference of the Holy Name Bible. Also in this school, we teach by the divine pattern of the universe. It is called the divine pattern because it is Yahweh's pattern. After Yahweh led the children of Israel up out of the land of Egypt, he called Moses atop Mount Sinai and showed him the tabernacle pattern in a vision. Yahweh instructed Moses to build one exactly like it in the wilderness of Sinai. This pattern consisted of a most holy place, holy place, and court roundabout. These three compartments making up the one tabernacle pattern. In this school, we show proof how that everything in the universe is made and operates according to the structure and the function of this threefold tabernacle pattern and that absolutely nothing escapes the pattern. We have 10 primary aims or constitutional objectives of the Institute, and they are as follows. First is to help you find and know Yahweh, our Elohim, as he really is and actually exists. Second, to form a nucleus of universal brotherhood of humanity in Yahshua the Messiah without distinction of race, nationality, creed, set, caste, or color. Third, to investigate the unexplained spirit law, a so-called law of nature, and the powers latent in man. Fourth, to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures, comparative religion, psychology, philosophy, both modern, practical, and occult science. Fifth, to escapate current superstition, skepticism, and ignorance. Sixth, to learn, know, and understand the operation of Yahweh's eternal purpose through the dispensations and ages. Seven, to discern and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, or Satan and his demons. Operate the mystery of iniquity on earth through the dispensation of time. Eighth is to earnestly contend for the common salvation and faith, which was once delivered unto the sons or children of Yahweh. Ninth is to make known that Yahweh from the beginning ordained. There is none other name given among men whereby man can be saved, saving in the name of Yahshua the Messiah. Tenth, to inherit eternal life now in the kingdom of Yahshua the Messiah with the hope of immortal glorification in the new earth state. Our watchword is peace, slogan, speak the truth. We'll have prayer by Dr. Olivia Dobbins. Our scripture lesson is 1 John, the third chapter. <coughs> Good morning, morning class. <laughs> Let us bow our hearts and minds for a moment of prayer unto Yahweh. Oh, gracious Heavenly Father Yahweh, just put joy and pep in our step that we might be happy to gather together Hallelujah. one more time to just be able to give a reasonable testimony mm -hmm. of to some of the marvelous things that you have shown unto us since being in attendance in this school. 
because Yahweh, you didn't have to call us. We weren't called because we were the best, we were the smartest, we were the most holiest. <laughs> but yet and still, Yahweh, you had our name in the Lamb's Book of Life from the foundation of the world. We are ever glad for that point, Yahweh, and making us understand what role we play in, <laughs> in your creation. That we were made to magnify and glorify you along with the angelic host. Let us sing hallelujah unto the name of the only begotten Son, Yahshua the Messiah. Let us all say hallelujah. 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 Our scripture lesson this morning is 1 John 3rd chapter. I'll be reading to you from the Holy Name Bible, containing the Holy Name version of the Old and New Testament, critically compared with ancient authorities and various manuscripts, revised by the late A.B. Trainer of the Scripture Research Association. This is 2012 edition, reprinted by Yahshua's promotion. 1 John 3rd chapter, page 317. Behold! What manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of Yahweh. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the children of Yahweh, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither known him. Little children, let no man deceive you, he that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committed sin is of the adversary. For the adversary sinned from the beginning for this purpose, the Son of Yahweh is manifested, that he might destroy the works of the adversary. Whosoever is born of Yahweh does not practice sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of Yahweh. In this the children of Yahweh are manifest, and the children of the adversary. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of Yahweh, neither he that loveth not his brother. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive we the Savior's love because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoso hath this world's goods, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bounds of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of Yahweh in him? My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And hereby we know that we are of the truth, and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, Yahweh is greater than our heart, and knoweth all things. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence toward Yahweh. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments, and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son, Yahshua the Messiah, and love one another as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us by the spirit which he hath given us. 
1 John 3rd chapter. Let the body say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our first speaker for this morning session be Dr. Rodney Hamilton. Good morning, Clyde. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, the prayer and the scripture lesson was right on time. Hallelujah. And I, you know, it's been a, been a while since I've been here. <laughs> And I definitely didn't come up here with something I already planned to say, except, I know that ain't going to be, but I was watching a video, and for some reason, I don't know why I came back, I know I, you know, somebody didn't have this happen. They was thinking some, but something else came out of their mouth. I know this had, had to happen to somebody. So, I was watching a video that I was, you know, I was going through the tabernacle, and for some reason, I said it was 10 boys back here, but it's six boys back here. And then I went on to compare, because it's 20 on this side, 20 on this side, and six on this on the back side, making up to 46. 20, 20 is 40 plus six. And I was comparing that to the amount of chromosomes that everybody has in their body. So I couldn't have thought it was 10 if I went into that comparison, you see, but it just came out of my mouth like that. But I, I, I wanted to get that off my chest. <laughs> And uh, I appreciate y'all bearing with me. Uh, but let's let's get the scripture lesson because it was it was on point. First John three and one. Mm -hmm. Behold, behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. Right, right. Now look, hold up. He said the Father. Now we got this written right up here on this plate. The Father. Now we we talking about y'all. We just do to the people who might not know who the Father is. Now. And this is Yahweh, okay? Read, dog. Uh. That we should be called the sons of Yahweh. Oh, uh -huh, that's a beautiful name for you to have, to be called the sons of Yahweh. They, they ain't just on, on, on this child right here. They in these bodies, in flesh and bodies, down here now at this time. Read, dog. Uh. Therefore the world knoweth us not, mm -mm. because it knew him not. See, the world don't know nothing about the sons and children of Yahweh. They're too busy out here gallivanting. Pro, and, and, and doing anything, you know. Read, dog. Uh, Beloved. Beloved. Now are we the children of Yahweh. No, not not later now, folks. He said what? Now. Well, now. See. Are we the children of Yahweh. And look, don't let nobody tell you no different. They got the audacity to tell you you waiting on some. A bird son or something. I know I'm throwing off now. I should be doing it. But you ain't got to be. How dare them. The, 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 <laughs> like my mom, they got the audacity. To say something like that, called you know we ain't with this and we ain't, look we with the truth. See, that's what we inherit that truth, and we ain't gonna let it go. Read the. Now are we the children of Yahweh? Uh huh. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. Uh huh. But we know that when He shall appear, we shall be like Him. See, we we gonna be like Him. We ain't gonna be giving no credence to nobody else. Read, dog. For we shall see him as he is. We're going to see him as he is. Read. And every man that had this hope in him mm -hmm. purified himself even as he is pure. And so, so go over there and say that there's hope in him. So let's go over here to, uh, what's that, Colossians 1 and 26 and 27 so we can see what the hope is. Because see, the whole story is about Yahshua the Messiah, folks, mm -hmm. and him being formed in you. Now, if he got sons and children, then the, the, the scripture tell us that. Now, we just read where he said we are all the sons of Yahweh. So, we don't need nobody to, to you know, give us no a, a, a letter of commendation, you see. He done all, that's the letter of commendation right there. Mm -hmm. Colossians. 1, 26 and 27. Even the mystery uh -huh. which hath been hid from ages. Now see, we got an age in dispensation, child, because so now the mystery been hidden from how long, Doc? From ages. From ages. And from generations. And from generations. So now this vision, this on this the apostle speaking right here, so this on this side of the cross. So that means from all these ages, it's been hid. Read, uh, But now, but now, it's made manifest to his son. To his, who? It ain't manifested to everybody. See, so when you see somebody going off the rails, <laughs> it, look, it wasn't manifested to them. <laughs> that, that's the bottom line. Read. 
to whom Yahweh would make known what is the riches uh -huh. of the glory of this mystery among the nations, mm -hmm. which is the Messiah in you. Which is the Messiah in you. See, then, then go back and, and, and pick that up again, Doc, and slow down what he said about the, about the riches and all that right there. To whom Yahweh would make known uh -huh. what is the riches. What, what, now, what is the riches? Of the glory, of the glory of this mystery. Now he gonna he gonna he gonna impart on you what are the riches and the glory of the mystery. See, he the one gonna give that to you. Read among the nations, among the nations, which is uh -huh. the Messiah in you, which is Yahshua, the Holy Spirit in you, the hope of glory. And see, that go that hope that he was just talking about your hope of glory. Now let's go over here and get uh Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles 34. 34. 34. Because he said, he said, now this dude talking about the riches now. 34 and 1? Yes, please. Second Chronicles 34 and 1. Uh-huh. Josiah right. was eight years old when he began to reign. Now Josiah was the last <coughs> of the righteous kings. Before the uh, Babylonian captivity, before uh, Nebuchadnezzar and the Chaldeans came in and destroyed the the, the name, really the rest of Judah. Read, dog. Uh, Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign. Mm -hmm. And that's a that, now eight is a new beginning. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now that we got one mob right there, read. And he reigned in Jerusalem one and thirty years. All right. So we got eight, and that's a new beginning. A beginning. And what you got right there, Doc? And he reigned in Jerusalem one and thirty years. Thirty-one, right? Mm -hmm. Years he reigned. Mm -hmm. That's R E I N. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So now we got a. G E N E D. G R E I G E N. Alright, now, so what we got here, the, the moderator just said this is a what? Three and one configuration. See? One, two, three, but it's one tabernacle pattern. So we got our 31. Read, dog. And he did that which was right in mean? the sight of Yahweh so, and walked. In the ways of David his father, uh -huh. and declined neither to the right hand nor to the left. So in other words, he wasn't he it, 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 like we used to say on the street. He, he didn't go to the right or Jeff to the left, did he, y'all? <laughs> so he walked straight way. Then mm -hmm. is that correct? So he and he was on. He was walking up. Read that again, Doc. And he did that which was right mm -hmm. in the sight of Yahweh, uh -huh. and walked. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right in the sight of man. Yahweh. Right in the sight of the, the fellow brother. Yahweh. Right in the sight of he did. Well, he walked in the way that was right in the sight of Yahweh. So as long as you're walking in the, in the way that's right in the sight of Yahweh, you can't go wrong. The brother should appreciate that. I know I do. Because of being in the set it under this gospel, now that's a blessing for Yahshua to bring you in and then have somebody that can teach the gospel to you. To, you being brought up the way you can want maybe explain some things to some people. Now that's a blessing. Mm -hmm. And then to have a brethren, when you can't make it, they constantly calling you and texting you and sending you things and keeping you engaged with this teaching. And not just in, with the teaching, but the, with the rest of them. They don't know how to, sometimes that stuff means a lot. I know it means a lot to me. Cause, I, you know, I don't care that much. My family ain't never treated me that great. You know, so being amongst these brethren, that's a good thing for certain people. Hallelujah. Read, dog. And he did that which was right in the sight of Yahweh, uh -huh. and walked in the ways of David his father, uh -huh. and declined neither to the right hand right. nor to the left. So he ain't go to the right or the left, see? See, because you see you got, you got trouble on both sides, mm -hmm. see? You got to walk straight. straight. 
and, and walk in the, in the way which seemeth right to you. It's right to Yahweh. Read, dog. Uh, For in the eighth year of his reign, uh -huh. while he was yet young, while he was still young, he began to seek after the Elohim of David his father. Uh huh. And in the twelfth year. Wait a minute, now we got twelve. I'm going to back down with another number. In the 12th year, so we got what? 12 tribes? Uh-oh. I ain't doing this too good. And we got 12 uh, disciples and apostles. Mm -hmm. Okay, read, dog. And in the twelfth year, he began to purge Judah uh -huh. and Jerusalem from the shrines and the sacred poles right. and the carved images uh -huh. and the molten images. Right. Right. So, so in other words, they was down in the, all up here. They had all these different images and and, and statues and uh, 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 altars and all kind of things, and, and they had all. Other kind of uh, priestly orders and stuff like that. They was they was they, they was wicked. Just right before Yahweh finna take that thing out, he gon' he gonna take uh, Jerusalem completely out and take the rest of them all back over there to uh, uh, Babylon. See, he gonna just he gonna line up with the and the Chaldeans to do, destroy Jerusalem. So it was a mess down there. And just think about how when you came in, he had to tear all them things down, get rid of those idols. And, and all them uh, gods that you had heaped up in the presence of Yahweh. You never knew. You was always in the presence of Yahweh. How you going to get out of it? Hallelujah. He everywhere. Read, dog. And they break down the altars of Balaam in his presence mm -hmm. and the sun images that were on high above them. The sun god down. images. We got them out here, down here now. See, I, I can't, it trips me out when I hear people talk about uh, uh, the, the Bible. See, that's old. It's outdated. <laughs> well, that's somebody who is ignorant. They just don't know. Then if you ask them how they read it, oh yeah, I read it this many times, that many. I said, man, I can pick up any book and read it. Don't mean I understand it. Mm -hmm. See, re just because you read it don't mean you understand it. Because it's a bunch of comfort. See? Mm -hmm. Which is who? The Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Whom the Father will send in my name. We talking about Yahshua doing the talking. He's going to send him in his name. Right. He shall teach you all this. So you can't pick up no book mm -hmm. and read it and learn nothing about it. I don't care what classroom you in. Read, dog. He cut down. He cut them down. And the sacred poles, uh -huh. the carved images, See, the molten images. Hold up, dog, about the sacred pole. Don't y'all remember when Moses right. came out here and built that, uh, that, uh, uh uh. They, they put that serpent on that. So y'all were told him to look up at that, mm -hmm. keep him from biting the heel. Mm -hmm. See, because that, that old, old body that uh, Satan was in had drowned in the Red Sea. So, see, okay. when, 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 when Jude and Israel came out here in the wilderness, Satan was disembodied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See? And them old demons, come on along with him, see? See, y'all, you, you don't forget them. Mm -hmm. See, what does it say? To discern and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, or Satan, and his demons. His demons. See, don't forget them. They mm -hmm. tag you right on along. You are your father, see? Mm -hmm. They right along with him. They've been following behind him all the time. The text, when the father put in the textbook, uh, 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 Judas simple, uh, had a satanic mystery, and the Sanhedrin council was them angels, see? Mm -hmm. Same old thing you got going on now. Read, Doc. Okay. And they break down the altars of Balaam in his presence mm -hmm. and the sun images right. that were on high above them. He cut down and the sacred poles uh -huh. and the carved images mm -hmm. and the molten images. And the molten images. He break in pieces. He broke them. And made dust of them uh -huh. and strode it upon the graves of them that had sacrificed unto them. In other words, he took that their old priest. He killed them too. You go over there in the second king, mm -hmm. he killed them too. But that one right there just kind of moving along a little bit more. So we talk about the king in the line of David. Now we know we got one. They say who the come to, with the seed of David. Mm -hmm. See, I the lineage of David, he really but uh, well just manifested in that woman. The Holy Spirit just manifests himself in uh 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 Mary, just like this Overshadowing we got with this 
a uh, 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 rainbow mm -hmm. when when Noah's Ark came up here and rested. Mm -hmm. You see, we had overshadowing with these uh the two winged cherubim. What they doing? They overshadowing that mercy seat. Mm -hmm. See, that's a symbolic of that Holy Spirit overshadowing. He came in through the earth. Where, where is that uh dove hovering right there? He is right there. See, he is here. Mm -hmm. He up here, here, here. Mm -hmm. Just that that hovering the, the spirit of Yahweh moved across the face of the of the waters, you see. That's that same spirit. Mm -hmm. You got to see him. He brought him through the uh, Red Sea, mm -hmm. led by angel in that cloud. Right. That same, self same spirit. He, he, he overturned and overturned. Read, dog. And he burnt the bones of the priests upon <laughs> their altars <laughs> and cleaned Judah and Jerusalem. So he cleaned it like he can come in you, clean you, get all the idols and stuff. And, 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 and throw all of the wicked stuff away. Sometimes it be your folks you got to get away from. See? <laughs> Read, dog. And so did he in the cities of Manasseh uh -huh. and Ephraim and mm -hmm. Simeon, even unto Naphtali, uh -huh. Naphtali with their mat mattocks round about. So, so what a mattox is is a kind of pick hook. Y'all know, y'all ever been out there when you had that pick hook? Yeah. You, you cut them veins and stuff out the ground when you're right. trying to get it turned up. That's what that Maddox is. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, they get he getting rid of everything. Read, dog. Uh, and when he had broken down the altars uh -huh. and the sacred poles and had beaten the graven images <laughs> into power uh -huh. and cut down all the idols throughout all the land of Israel, right. he returned to Jerusalem. So he returned back to Jerusalem. Now he done went all around and about and purged the land. You see, read, dog. Uh, now, in the 18th year uh -huh. of his reign. So we got 18 now. Mm -hmm. Now, look at 18, a little different. See, that's kind of depending on which way you want to look at it. Could be a nine, could, right. or it could be what? Three sixes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now, Yahweh, see, he was a righteous king, didn't right. he? Right? Okay. Read, uh, now, in the 18th year of his reign, when he had purged the land uh -huh. and the house, right. he sent Shaphan, the son of Azaliah, mm -hmm. and Maziah, the governor of the city, and jo Jonah, the son of Johaz, the recorder, to repair the house of Yahweh, his Elohim. Okay, so now he's saying he's going to repair the house of Yahweh, Elohim. See, these old, these old folks had come out here and they, they brought their stuff in there and stuck it up in the temple. Mm -hmm. Oh, they was bold. <laughs> I like what Doc said, that Satan brazen. See? He know who temple that was, but he came in and did it anyway. Read, Doc. Uh, and when they came to Hilkiah, the high priest, uh -huh. they delivered the money that was brought into the house of Elohim, which the Levites that kept the doors had gathered of the hand of Manasseh and Ephraim, uh -huh. and of all the remnant of Israel, and of all Judah and Benjamin, and they returned to Jerusalem. All right, so what did they bring the money to? They brought it to Hilkiah, mm -hmm. the high priest. Mm -hmm. So now right here we got a separation in the priestly order and the, and the king's line. It's a, it's a clear separation. The king can't step over his boundaries, and, and certainly the king ain't finna let them come in and step on here. Read, Doc. Uh, and they put it in the hand of the workman that had the oversight of the house of Yahweh. Whoa, 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 whoa. They put them in the hands of the who? And they put it in the hand of the workman. Oh, the workman now? What we got here? Down here now? Workman. They need it not to be ashamed. Rightly divide the word of truth. You see, study so thyself approved unto Yahweh. That's the work money we got down here now. See, all these, by now, that didn't happen. The apostle said, well, that was for our what? Learn. For our learning. So we can, we go back and look at it and see how Yahshua fulfilling these things. And then, not just back then, but he doing the self same thing. Now, he the king. So when he come in and clear out all that mess that you had, and then he gonna come in. That what he, he said. He gathered the money from all around mm -hmm. and brought it back to the temple. Read, dog. And they put it in the hand of the workman uh -huh. that had the oversight of the house of Yahweh. That's just like you, you deans out here who got the oversight of these classes now. Read, dog. And they gave it to the workman that wrought in the house of Yahweh to repair. See, that's you teachers and 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 and, and some of you other people that do different things. 
See, it's a turn, overturn and overturn. You, it, it's just something different about the way he's doing it now. Because he tell you, uh, go over there what you got. Uh, First Chronicles, I think it is. 3 and 10 down there. First Chronicles. No, I mean, not Chronicles. First Corinthians 3 and 10. I'm sorry, Doc. First Corinthians 3 and 10. Mm hmm. <clears throat> First Corinthians three and ten. According to the grace mm -hmm. of Yahweh, which is given unto me. Right, this is the apostle talking now. Read. As a wise master builder. Now see, now we back on building. Now see, we already had the workmen over there. They was repairing the temple. Now he come in and say he the master builder. The apostles filled with the Holy Spirit. You see, read. According to the grace of Yahweh, mm -hmm. which is given unto me, as a wise master builder, right. I have laid the foundation. See, he said he didn't lay the foundation, read. And another buildeth thereon. Uh-huh. But let every man. Let every man. Take heed how he buildeth thereupon. See, it, take heed how you build it thereupon, read, Doc. For other foundations can no man lay than that is laid, which is... Yahshua the Messiah. See, now wait a minute, folks. See, that'll clear a whole lot of stuff up right there. See, he said he and I already laid the foundation. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and what else he say again, Doc? For other foundation uh -huh. can no man lay. So if you hear something other than what you, you didn't heard already, then that's some other man that came in and, and then heaped up his idols up, then, up in here next to what Yahweh done brought in, you see. Read, Doc. For other foundation can mm -hmm. no man lay than that is laid, uh -huh. which is Yahshua the Messiah. See, that's the, that's the only, Yahshua the Messiah is the only foundation, you see. Read. Now, and he the whole, he, look, he the whole uh, thing in, in the first place. Mm -hmm. See, this, this physical tabernacle was what, what, just a, a type of shot. Right. And see, Yahshua came in and fulfilled that. A super incorporeal being, what the great heavenly anthropomorphic super incorporeal being, I say. Read, Doc. Uh. Now, if any man build upon this foundation mm -hmm. gold, silver, right. precious stones. Now, all that's allegorical, y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, he ain't coming in being no spiritual temple <laughs> with no physical gold. And then the ones bringing the good, the good stuff in. See, they going to get. Just like they had to get all that stuff from the other tribe and come in to repair that temple. They had to come in with the good stuff. <laughs> Read, dog. Wood, mm -hmm. hay, stubble. Oh, somebody Every came man's... in with some stubble. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope I can scrape up a little bit more than some stubble. Just give me a look. <laughs> but Joshua going to give you what you need. And if you bring it in, you're going to be a willing participant. Don't fuck one, one argument with the king after he saw how he, he done went through the land and killed all these other old priests and stuff to these other idols. They came, they gave that money willingly. Because he, that king right there, Josiah, ain't plenty. Read, dog. Uh. Now, if any man build upon this foundation mm -hmm. gold, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, Every man's work shall be made manifest. Right. For the day shall declare it. The day shall declare it. Read. Because it shall be revealed by fire, uh -uh. and the fire shall try every man's work right. of what sort it is. Hmm. Mm -mm. So when you start coming in with stubble, boy, <laughs> once it tried by fire, ain't gonna last too long, is it, child? <laughs> and stubble gonna go up in smoke. Read, uh, if any man's work abide which he had built thereupon. Okay, so now one was saying work man, and this one said man's work. But we still talking about the same thing. One was a physical temple, and another one is a spiritual temple. Read, uh, if any man's work abide mm -hmm. which he hath built thereupon, right. he shall receive a reward. See, he's going to receive a reward. Who? Yahshua the Messiah. Oh, oh, okay. Get uh, uh, Matthew 6 and 20 then. Because uh, I've i been able to watch uh, uh, some videos. I, I must admit, there's, there's some good teaching going on. Don't let nobody tell you anything, because it is. Matthew 6 and 20. Yes, ma'am. 
But lay up for yourselves, uh -huh. but lay up for yourselves treasures, treasures in heaven. Well, so you, you, you mean to tell me and say lay up the, the treasures in heaven? So now, if you can't bring nothing physical up in here in the first place, then what are your treasures? That's your treasures. He said, uh, the Yahshua, the Holy Spirit, your only hope of glory. That's your treasure. Read, dog. But lay up for yourselves treasures in uh -huh. heaven, uh -huh. where neither moth, moth. nor rust mm -hmm. doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. See, they can't come through and steal them kind of treasures, folks. Read. For where your treasure is, uh -huh. there will your heart be see, also. That, see, that, that's where your heart be. Now go back over there to uh, Chronicles. With old Joe side. Because <clears throat> he the king, and he purged in the land. Seeking favor with Yahweh. He seek Yahweh. Second he did what was right in the eyesight of Yahweh. Second Chronicles 34 and 11. Okay. 10. And they put in the hand of the workman mm -hmm. that had the oversight of the house of Yahweh, and huh. they gave it to the workman that wrought in the house of Yahweh to repair and restore the house. Read. Even to the artifacts. Art artifacts, dog. Okay. In other words, just real super skilled ones that we got to come in and get some, you know, what y'all call the heavy hitters now. They're the artifacts. See, they know how to come in and run these charts and then give you a, 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 a better meal. And then some of them can take you back to Moses. Bam. See? Simple. But you, it's got to go according to this pattern. See, that how we started out here. He ain't started up here. He started right here. In fact, he ain't going here but once a year. So most of the time he was dealing them around out here. See? So where he gonna be now? He ain't left. He got to still be out here in this earth plane. See? Read. Even to the artificers and builders gave they it to buy mm -hmm. hewn stone mm -hmm. and timber for cup. Couplings, right. and to floor the house which the kings of Judah had destroyed. See, then now he's laying a foundation in, right? Okay, read. And the men did the work faithfully. Uh, faithfully. And the overseers of them were Jahath and Obadiah, the Levites, uh -huh. and of the sons of Merari, and Zechariah and Meshulam, and of the sons of the Kohats, uh -huh. to set it forward and the other of the Levites, all that could lay instruments of music. See, now see, they had the band playing too. The doc had a live band earlier today. <laughs> see, we don't want to hear no recording. We want a live band, see. Read, dog. Also, they were over the bearers of burden uh -huh. and were overseers of all that wrought the work in any manner of service. Mm -hmm. And of the Levites, there were scribes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They say, now, any manner <laughs> of service. So, y'all ain't leaving nobody out. If right. you just coming in and you, he got you in here, finding the scripture, or just being in here, that's a manner of service because mm -hmm. you perform the service by being here. Your, your, your duty to be here. So that's performing a service. Read, Doc. And of the Levites, there were scribes uh -huh. and officers and porters. Skip and on the, down the hill, Kai, Doc. Fifteen verses. Mm-hmm. Well, fourteen. And they brought out the money that was brought into the house of Yahweh. So they done brought it. They done laid up their treasure in heaven because it's in the house of Yahweh. So they're laying up your, your, uh, your treasures in heaven so that they brought their treasure in from a physical perspective. Into heaven. Read. Hilkiah the priest uh -huh. found a book of the law of Yahweh mm -hmm. given by Moses. See, this is how far these folks had fallen. They, Hilkiah had to come in. I'm going to quickly go to uh, uh, Joshua, I mean uh, Jeremiah 1 and 1, right quick. Doc, hold your finger right there. Because see, Hilkiah got a mysterious uh, <laughs> high priest as well. He don't have no, no lineage attached to his name. You see, most when you read, when you go back and, and study this, you know, uh, look at the scriptures, the high priest is going to always have his father's name and his grandfather's name most of the time attached to his name. That way you won't think it's just somebody that, some Joe Blow coming in from one of them other lineages coming in and, 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 and taking over the priesthood. 
So, he don't, he don't have no name attached to him, but read Jeremiah. Jeremiah 1 and 1. Okay. The words of Jeremiah, the son of Hilkiah. See, Jeremiah was not just a prophet, but he was a priest as well. Hilkiah was his father. See, go, go. So, Hilkiah play a, a, a big part of this instrument in, in this rebuilding or the refurbishing of the temple. Not necessarily rebuilding it, but refurbishing it. Go back over to uh, 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 Chronicles. Chronicles. See, Hilkiah, the, 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 the Jeremiah had to come in through that list. Well, where Hilkiah came from, I, I, I can't tell. Second Chronicles 34 and 15. Okay. And Hilkiah answered and mm -hmm. said to Shaphan the scribe, I have found the book of the law in the house of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And Hilkiah delivered the book to Shaphan. Right. And Shaphan carried the book to the king. Now Shaphan had brought the book to the king. <clears throat> Hilkiah was the one, okay, say so Hilkiah went up in there and he said, oh, that was that book. <laughs> they done made a mess of it in here. Let me get this book and carry it to the scribe. So the scribe can carry it to the king. Now, there go our king right there. So he carried on, we can go do it this way. And it was the law. See, we got the law right here. So he brought the law to the king. Read, Doc. Uh, and Shaphan carried the book to the king mm -hmm. and brought the king word back again, saying. So he already went back. He said, found the book of Moses. Mm -hmm. So he done went, took him. He done went all the way back to Moses. Mm -hmm. See? Read, Doc. I'm sorry, read. And Shaphan carried the book to the king and brought the king word back again, saying, uh -huh. All that was committed to thy servants, they do it. Right. And they gathered together the money that was found in the house of Yahweh mm -hmm. and have delivered it into the hand of the overseers right. and to the hand of the workmen. So we can gather all the gifts of the brethren, see, for the building of the spiritual temple of Yahweh. Read. Then Shaphan the scribe told the king, saying, mm -hmm. Hilkiah the priest has given me a book. Right. And Shaphan read it before the king. Now he read the book of Moses before the king. Mm -hmm. So now the king told him well what Yahweh can do now. See, he went down and do this land. That's what he read to him about how he tore this land up and knocked down all them idols that he didn't just knock down. They done dragged the same old stuff from Egypt mm -hmm. all the way back up here. Read, dog. Uh, and it came to pass, mm -hmm. when the king had heard the words of the law, that he rent his clothes. See, he tore his clothes, because he knew what the kingdom looked like. And he I also knew the outcome when Yahweh told him when he was to turn that back on him, what he was going to do to him. In fact, never mind, call him. keep on going. And the king commanded Hilkiah and Achim. Uh -huh. Achim, the son of Shaphan. The son of Shaphan this time, okay. And Abdon, the son of Michael, and mm -hmm. Shaphan, the scribe, and Isaiah, a servant of the king, saying, Go inquire of Yahweh for me, for them that are left in Israel and Judah concerning the words of the book that is found. Uh -huh. For great is the wrath of Yahweh. See, now see, he, in other words, they done read that wrath. That wrath he poured out on Egypt. I know I got a little excited, y'all, but <laughs> see, he done read that stuff. And see, that's what keep us coming. We done heard it. Doc, y'all keep going over it. And it's fearful, because if he can knock all that stuff down, <laughs> hey, I'm coming. I stay home, no, I can't take it no more. I know I hate to ask people, you know, to do a favor, but hey, I had to come, y'all. And it was a good thing I came. Thank you. <laughs> Read the uh, well, great is the wrath of Yahweh. Great is the wrath of Yahweh. That is poured out upon us. Uh -huh. Because our fathers have not kept the word of Yahweh. See, we ain't seeing nothing. These folks ain't kept the word that the original word that the father came down here with. They ain't kept it. Read. To do after all that is written in this book. Mm -hmm. And Hilkiah and they that the king had appointed went to Ahudah, the prophetess, the that, wife of Shalom. Hold up, hold up, hold up. See, where did the prophetess come from? <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> I don't know the Me Too movie, but I'll be happy about this. Because uh, we don't read too much about it. That's the only prophetess I know in the Bible. And, uh, uh, was Deborah a prophetess? I thought she was a judge, she was, wasn't she? She was a judge. Yeah, but that's a prophetess. 
Now look what she finna lay on your boy now. See, they, they ain't telling her who, who they are and where they came from. They inquiring of her. Oh, but they look, read, read, I'm sorry, read. Come on. The listen. wife of Shalom, the son of Tikvat, uh -huh. the son of Hashrah, keeper of the wardrobe. She was the keeper of the wardrobe. I don't know if it was the priest of the wardrobe or the king wardrobe or both. Whichever the case may be, <laughs> he wasn't no pole joker. See, the prophet was living pretty nice. Read, dog. Now she dwelt in Jerusalem uh -huh. in the college. Right. And they spake to her. To that effect. To that effect. And she answered them. Mm -hmm. Thus said Yahweh, the Elohim of Israel. Now here's the prophet, she finna break it down. <laughs> Thus said who, y'all? Thus said Yahweh, uh -huh. the Elohim of Israel. All right. Tell Read. ye the men that sent you to me. Mm -hmm. Thus said Yahweh, behold. Behold. I will bring evil upon this place. He's going to bring evil upon this place. Now, we got to be looking for him because we see in the self same thing. Just book it out. Yep. Overturn it over. He's going to bring bring what down on this place, Doc? I will bring evil upon this place Please. and upon the inhabitants thereof. Uh -huh. Even all the curses that are written in the book which they have read before the king of Jews. See, he read about these curses he put on these children in right. uh, Egypt down here. <laughs> Read, uh. Because they have forsaken me uh -huh. and have burned incense unto idols. Ooh, they have seen it get at, at that intercession with another God. She cheating on her mind. Read, uh. That they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Uh -huh. Therefore, my wrath shall be poured out upon this place right. and shall not be quenched. He said it ain't going to be quenched. Read, dog. Uh, and as for the king of Judah, uh -huh. who sent you to inquire of Yahweh. Tell her who was coming. Who sent them down there, in other words. She just tell me, tell the king. Since y'all don't tell, yeah, tell me who sent y'all. Tell you. I'm, yeah, I, I know who sent you. Cause uh -huh. I'm telling you who, who talking. Uh -huh. Read. And as for the king of Judah, uh -huh. who sent you to inquire of Yahweh. <laughs> So shall ye say unto him, Thus saith Yahweh the Elohim of Israel concerning the words which thou hast heard. Uh -huh. Because thine heart was penitent, and thou didst humble thyself before Elohim, when thou heardest his words against this place, and against the inhabitants thereof, and humblest thyself before me, and didst rent thy clothes, right. and weep before me. She won't know she didn't get nobody say nothing about Yahweh being nowhere around the right. king when he rent right. his clothes. Right. <laughs> the the ever-presence mm -hmm. of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> read, Doc. I have even heard thee also, said Yahweh. I even heard him, read. Behold, Behold, I will gather thee to thy fathers, uh -huh. and thou shalt be gathered to thy grave in peace. In peace. Neither shall thine eyes see all the evil that I will bring upon this place. And he shall bar it, cause you know when you go on into the, the rest of the chronicles, he's gonna bring it on. Read, dog. And upon the inhabitants of the same. Mm -hmm. So they brought the king word again. Right. Then the king sent and gathered together all the elders of Judah and Jerusalem. Uh huh. And the king went up into the house of Yahweh. Now he went into the, the king. Now he went into the house. Read, dog. And all the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and the priests and the Levites and all the people, great and small. Mm -hmm. And he read in their ears read all it. the words of the book of the covenant that was found in the house of Yahweh. So he done took them back to Moses. He done took them all the way. If he read anything out of that, the first place he started was Moses. Right. Now, read, because he and said the book of Moses right. through the law. Read. And the king stood in his place uh -huh. and made a covenant before Yahweh. Now the king made a covenant before Yahweh. Read. To walk after Yahweh and to keep his commandments and his testimonies mm -hmm. and his statutes with all his heart and with all his soul to perform the words of the covenant which are written in this book. And that sounds just like what Yahshua did, you know. Mm -hmm. He got to fulfill this. And he said, now look, what, what, uh, uh, ye search the scriptures. Mm -hmm. For in them you think you have eternal life, mm -hmm. and they are they to testify mm -hmm. of me. Mm -hmm. So if, if, if that if, if Josiah is that prominent in the eyesight of Yahweh, he got to be a type and shadow of this one right here. Mm -hmm. 
all the way down to the end and been purging the land and purging us from all that old stuff we had. Anything left over that thought? Okay. And he caused all that were present in Jerusalem uh -huh. and Benjamin to stand to it. He saw. And the inhabitants of Jerusalem did according to the covenant of Elohim, the Elohim of their fathers. Mm -hmm. And Josiah took away all the abominations out of all the countries that pertain to the children of Israel. See, he even took them out of the countries pertaining to the children of Israel. Really? And made all that were present in Israel to serve. See, he had to go over there to get them Gentiles, see. He had to make them, 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 them pertaining to Jew, Jerusalem. Go read Dr. Psalm. Even to serve Yahweh, their Elohim, uh -huh. in all his days, they departed not from following Yahweh, the Elohim of their fathers. Hey, and he said all of his days. Mm -hmm. So, as soon as he, he died, guess what they did? Same. They went right on back to doing what they were doing at first, Doc. <laughs> and um, I, I'd like to thank y'all for your time and attention. <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy to be back Hallelujah. in class. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next speaker will be Dr. Olivia Dobbins. Say good morning. Good morning. And uh, glad that uh, Yahweh made a way uh, that the uh, brethren went and picked up the brethren. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, so that uh, we might gather together. It's just, it's so few everywhere, you know, because mm -hmm. I've been around long enough to see. Um, the classes that were so huge they was busted almost, you know, and, and, and even Memphis class. I was trying to remember whether we was busting 90 or we was, I'm talking about on the road, you know, because everybody don't come at the same time, right, right. you know, uh, but it looked like we was busting 90 and we was getting ready to go out there and start scratching the highways and the byways to get 100, <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, and then to see how that whether the classes were big or small, how that they have how that they have have, have dwindled down. Uh, but that's just Yahweh, cause we said it's gonna be a remnant. But I know I didn't think it was gonna be a remnant of a remnant. You know, we talking about a scrap now, a scrap. Uh, and I I saw something on um, getting dressed. I I, I watched the show. I've seen it before, but I've never seen it on that channel. And it is uh, on the spot. And then another one is about Zoo Facts. They're the kids' educational mm -hmm. programs. They yeah. say I and E, inf information and educational. Mm -hmm. but, but the point was it was talking about corals. Okay. You know, like the coral reefs, Reef. the Great right. Barrier Reef, right. you know, mm -hmm. and stuff. And there was, you know... I, Educational, so he was saying, you know, do you think that the, that the coral is a plant or an animal, mm -hmm. you know? And um, well, it's it's an animal. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's but you know, when it has those things that flutter in the water, it looks mm -hmm. like a plant. Mm -hmm. but But it's, it's really an animal. And they were saying that um, sometimes when we, when we look at them, it's just a big old clump. They have yeah. just, you know, right. can be big like a rock. Mm -hmm. But they were saying that those are individual polyps mm -hmm. clustered together. I say, okay, now I've seen, I've seen them, but you know, they just sit down and really hear what they're saying. And it said that, now you got all of these individual animals that have clumped together, and they make that hard shell that they live in. 
And that's that's the hard thing that we usually see because they usually always down up in there oh, until okay. it's evening mm -hmm. or spawning. Then mm -hmm. they'll come out. All we see is just their, their crusty shell. So you got all these individuals and they say that there's a fiber that goes from each polyp to another polyp. No. To communicate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that communication is so tight, mm. <laughs> they operate as one. Mm. One organism. I say, Yahweh, I want to go to church this morning. Yeah. <laughs> you That's done cool. gave us you two. Yeah. <laughs> so that these little individual polyps mm -hmm. that you got mm -hmm. in these different places. Right can have a thread one to another mm -hmm. so that we don't get down to sackcloth and ashes and start crying <laughs> about, oh, woe is me, I'm undone. Uh, I'm like what the prophet say, I, even I, I remain, a, <laughs> a, a, <laughs> a, remain a prophet under Yahweh. <laughs> that you have given us a means to be able to communicate mm -hmm. and, and strengthen each other, you know. And, and it's just like we always say, if you want to understand something, go back here with, with the children of Israel in that exodus. Mm -hmm. When he took them out, well, look, the, the old, that song say, I brought you out to, what you say, brought you out to, to take you in, in, to bring you back. Mm -hmm. He started out with Abraham mm -hmm. and told him, I'm going to give you all of this, but first. <laughs> but first. You can't have it right now, but first. They got to go down, and then I mm -hmm. will bring them back. Right. And when I bring them back, mm -hmm. They should come forth with substance. Yeah. And then what did he do? He gave a prefigure of that because the famine drove Abraham down mm -hmm. there right. with Sarah. Mm -hmm. And then you get that thing with Sarah and Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. And then they, uh, you could say, spoil the Egyptians that time because they gave them tre treasures and stuff to get out of here. Yeah. Just like with that other Pharaoh, yeah. get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so Abraham came back. With uh, with substance, and then Israel went down and came back with mm -hmm. substance. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about it, uh, we talk about that Israel was going to inherit a land flowing with milk and honey. Mm -hmm. So in other words, it was going to be a place that had already been prepared. Mm -hmm. Then we wonder why Yahshua and Messiah say, "I go to what prepare yeah, a place for, for you, mm -hmm. that where I am, mm -hmm. there you may be also." Why? Because this was prepared. Right. And then they went up to get the inheritance right. that was prepared that, that was prepared for them. Mm -hmm. Now all of that to say, we did not have to go out and, and, and become computer scientists and raise a million dollar seed capital to start YouTube, Google, or Facebook. Right. It was already prepared for us. And then we come along and use it as a means to communicate all around the world so that we don't have to feel alone. And when I look at some of the captions of the shows, either right before we do one or right after or the same time, it'd be the same time oh, again. No. Yes, no. You know, I say, look at y'all. It's like, okay, okay. Um, they, they do that with pipe organs. You can, you can, they call them stops. Uh, when you see a full pipe organ, not, not the, well, the, B, the B3 or whatever it is most, they have in most churches, it's got some, but when you got the full pipe organ, the full one, it's got these white knobs, and those are stops. Yeah. So you might have four keyboards and, and your foot pedals. When you pull out a stop, Depending on what you want, I've seen them. You pull out a stop, and another stop, and another stop. They can play one or two keyboards, and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Oh, they got the little things called the carillons. They little little pipes. It's, it's piping like flutes and stuff, you know, or, or angels' voices, you know. And then you got some sound like trumpets and trombones or the brass and all of this. When they pull out them stops, it's controlled by just them two keyboards. It's making all of those voices sing. Oh. So Yahweh pull out them stops <laughs> and make all the voices, all the speakers 
uh, sing that melody unto him. But we wouldn't, we wouldn't have nothing. I have to go back to we wouldn't have nothing to say. And that's what the, I appreciated the the speaker, uh, the speakers that was coming uh, uh, that I was watching from chapel was giving honor to where honor was due. That since being in attendance in this school, being under this divine vision and revelation that was given to our founder, Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley, we have anything to say. And one of the vessels was uh, talking about talking with his father-in-law. And then he turned around and put it on a chart and had it read what he was explaining to him so that we all could be edified <laughs> with, the, uh, with the situation. But uh, one of the other vessels, it, it, uh, that one and another one put me in mind of something, so I did look up something. Um, in, in coming to this school, uh, we used to look forward to, when I first came in, and then coming down here to Memphis, we looked forward to these holidays and different events because we would do some research, you know, and bring it back. It's sort of like, the, like you run out, get something, bring some, prepare some food and bring it back right. uh, for the body. And used to do a year in, year out, year in, year out, and then the older vessels, you know, would train the other ones to start doing it so that uh, it, it went on perpetual. It kept us studying and watching the calendars and watching, watching Yahweh move. But the one that I looked at was that um, St. Patrick's Day came and went. Mm -hmm. I guess it was a little hoopla in Memphis, but it wasn't a lot of hoopla like it usually mm -hmm. was. You know, I get I don't know whether Silky Sullivan is closed or what, but it seems, <laughs> it seems like it came and went. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. is it going to be green beer? Boop, that there, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so I went back and looked it up. But what it put in mind was, that's why I asked for that scripture. In all of this research, Yahweh is showing us that, uh, give me revelations, No, that's, that's not what I want. Um, give me 1 John 5, the last two verses. 1 John 5 and 19. Yeah, and then the other one is Revelations 12 and 8. Uh-huh, okay, John. And we know that we are of Yahweh. We should, by this point, the vessel say, not, not thinking we're going to know him later on. We are <laughs> of him right now. Read. And the whole world lies in wickedness. Lieth in wickedness. Now, with that, with that word lieth, it's um. You can look at it as L I E. What is it? T H. Mm. Yep. Meaning that they tell of falsehoods. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> and the other lie which is spelled just the same, and you could say that's that old English tense of the TH on it, to be prone. You know, like when you go to bed, you usually don't sit up unless you're sick, or for some reason you, you do what? You lay out flat. Now, the whole world lieth in wickedness. Everything come out of their mouth is nothing but a lie. The same way when Yahshua the Messiah uh, walked around, he said, you are of your father, the adversary, you know, uh, you a liar and a murderer, because yeah. you of your daddy, that's your DNA trait. <laughs> and then the other lie, um, and we see it, I mean, this was, wow, this, this freaked me out, I saw on YouTube, they buried, they had the funeral service for Richard VIII. And I said, that I was zipping, and I said, Yahweh, well, please, I ain't got no time if this is one of them old fake YouTube, because I got sucking in a few times, one of them old fake YouTube, yeah. the, the president say fake news. Um, but Yahweh said, uh-uh, that's that devil. And I'm showing you that he's, that he's uh, twice dead, plucked up by roots. <laughs> now, when we watched, and Vessel was talking about that word rain, um, when we watch those different shows and Yahweh put them on TV, there was a series on, and if many of us, we just, we did just enough history to get past, because it wasn't American history, you know, we had to go all of the English history and stuff, 
And I know all I came out knowing there was a war of the roses. I wouldn't remember mm -hmm. who fought on what side, what it was about. Mm -hmm. But it was, each side, a rose was their banner. One had the white rose, one had the red rose, mm -hmm. and they felt that their line should be the royal line and should, and should reign <laughs> over England. So... You have, and of course I might be getting them twisted, but I, but I do know this story because they've had it many, 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 many times. <coughs> uh, Richard was deformed. Now they try. Now I've seen some say, "Well, he wasn't deformed that bad." <laughs> well, see, that's like the devil ain't that bad, yeah, you yeah, know. Boy. Oh, oh, you call him, you call him Yahshua. We call him Jesus. It ain't that bad. It ain't that much different. Yeah. They, they found Richard. <laughs> They found him in a parking lot that they were getting ready to, you know, when they got to dig it up to put a foundation in. Oh, yeah. They oh, found true. this grave, and of course they called in the archaeologists because they could tell it was an ancient grave. And they took it out, and then they did this, they did that. <laughs> DNA. <laughs> DNA will knock it out the park every time. Mm -hmm. So they thought it was Richard by what was in there. Because as soon as they saw that question mark spine, oh, they said, this is that devil. <laughs> they didn't say that, but they said, this is Richard III. So they went and got a living descendant of Richard III. It had to be a male because they're going to trace the Y. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, the, the, the DNA back. So they, they you know, they, they traced the DNA. They were able to specifically said that that was Richard III. Now, Richard III was not in line to be the king. He was the brother of the king. You got that thing, Lion King, in the circle of life. See, yeah. we think that's new. No, that's just a new version of uh, old the old story. <laughs> and he went and told the queen, because the queen is in hiding, She's going to claim sanctuary. She up in a church. And you cannot, you know, you know, by law, you cannot go up into the sanctuary and bring somebody out. So he tricked her into, you shouldn't have these princes that one day will be king living in, these, in this hole, in this dungeon, in the church. Let, let us bring them for safety's sake to the palace. Well... <laughs> They treated him all right for a while. That's sort of like <laughs> everything oh, wow. was all right yeah. for a while. Oh, wow. Then they arose a Pharaoh that and knew not Joseph. Right. Him, okay. <laughs> then they say for safety's sake, they put him in the tower. Now we know what happens in the Tower of London, okay? We know that you ain't coming out of there alive. Mm -hmm. And they didn't. Mm -hmm. They did not. They just kept him in there, kept him in there, kept him in there. Then they, then they, boop, a mystery, they vanished. So if there were no descendants of the king, mm -hmm. then it had to go to the brother. And mm -hmm. now see, that's a devil. So <laughs> I got off all off on that. But all of that stuff, and they had him laying in state. I said, Yahweh, that brought me back to that scripture. The whole world mm -hmm. lieth mm -hmm. in wickedness. They had him laid out, mm -hmm. and everybody doing what? Walking, mm -hmm. walking past mm -hmm. him. And don't you know? In that whole documentary, they didn't say one negative thing about that boy. Not one negative thing. See, that's how the world is. Well, we can call him, you call him Yahshua, we call him Jesus. It's okay. No. What did, what did the vessel have read? <laughs> if you serve Yahweh with your whole heart right. and you walk according to his statutes, right. he, he, he going to give you an all right. He no. going to give you a, no, no. If you walk in his statutes, no, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he going to give you a pass. Right. But when you start off and up all these eyes and stuff is going contract, he got something for you. Right. He has something for you. So the whole world, either way you want to take it, life and wickedness, mm -hmm. the whole world, not that we should emphasize it, not part of the world or a third of the world, the whole world. Mm -hmm. Well then, isn't that why we have to say that we're in the world but not what? Oh, world. that's how we escape that mm -hmm. not lying and that wickedness. Mm -hmm. Right. Read. And we know that the Son of Yahweh is come, mm -hmm. and hath given us an understanding, mm -hmm. that we may know him that is true, mm -hmm. and we are in him that is true, mm -hmm. 
even in his son, Yahshua the Messiah. Mm -hmm. This is the true Elohim and eternal life. Okay. Now, so when I was looking up about St. Patrick, that's first off, it's St. Patrick's Day. <coughs> okay. And it's so funny because it took me back to some of the things that I, you know, that I learned that, that they brought out to show us the difference in what we say in the Institute and what the world is doing. You know, some of the things make you go, hmm, some of the things is like, wow, <laughs> yeah. wow. Okay, so if you got a St. Patrick, first off, he had to be a saint. Mm -hmm. Okay, so get me the, the uh, New Testament and the first book of the New Testament. And if you got a fly sheet, read what the... Oh, I got one. Mm -hmm. The fly sheet, or if it has... Um, no, no, over the first book. The first book is what? Matthew. 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 The New Testament. No, oh. just Matthew. Matthew's fly sheet. The writer of the first gospel? Uh-huh. As all agree was Matthew, called also Levi, a Jew of Galilee, mm -hmm. who had taken service as a tax collector, mm -hmm. tax gatherer. So oh. now, okay, now where was he a Catholic? <laughs> he wasn't. He wasn't. Okay. So, but now, that whole book is entitled St. Matthew. And that's why we usually just say Matthew. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Matthew, yeah. Yeah. Mark. Okay. Mm -hmm. Luke right. or John, right. and then we have to get get specific in when we call for John, mm -hmm. and we have to say first John, right. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. because originally they were not called no saints back yeah. then right. when those books were written. Okay. So where did this stuff come from? It came from the Catholic Church. You all, all almost could say Latter Day Saints. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I looked up just a little bit on a saint because this. Tickle me. Um, come November, Memphis is a headquarters of the Kojit, Church of God in Christ. Mm -hmm. And their title is what? When they, when they talk about the convocation is coming on the news, they say the saints yeah. is coming. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay? But now the true definition of saint, uh, the first qualification is must be dead. <laughs> okay? Must be. Must be dead. <laughs> you know. Now, you, you can hear about them starting to plan stuff, but they can't put nothing in motion until dead. So, give me back the scripture lesson, which was 1 John 3 and 1. And I know I'm kind of flubbing around with it, but the whole thing is... All of this stuff that the Catholic Church set up is in direct opposition to what Yahweh has said. 1 John 3 and 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us, that we should be called the children of Elohim. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the children... Is that holy name? It's King James. King James. You want holy name? Does one say... Uh, I wonder what we're talking about. We are sons. Is that a different book? Yeah, it's holy name. One is children and one is sons. Okay. Okay. Three holy names. Okay. I got it. Three. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of Yahweh. Sons of Yahweh. So see, that's why when they would go back and they would be, we come in out the world, we used to call them the St. Matthew, St. Luke, St. John. They tell me, no, uh-uh, we are sons. Right. They are sons. They are fellow heirs with the son, oh, mm -hmm. Yahshua the Messiah. Right. Now that's, a, that's like in that one of them games, ah, family feud, <laughs> the big old X. But where did this saint come from? This is something that was instituted mm -hmm. by the Catholic Church, who was the mother of harlots. Mm -hmm. And it is to give recognition um, ha uh, to a person that has an exceptional degree of holiness or likeness or closeness to God. <sighs> okay, a saint, I'm going to read the whole one. A saint is a person. 
who is recognized as having an exceptional degree of holiness or likeness or closeness to God. Okay? Now, when either we go to Isaiah, that, that was another one said, so, whoa, if we go to either Isaiah or Ezekiel, uh, and they start talking about the adversary, he says, I'm going to be what? Like, like mm -hmm. the Most High. Mm -hmm. That's an X. We shouldn't be trying to be like right. the Most High. <laughs> right. You know, and they would talk about, you know, Christian is Christ like. Mm -hmm. The right. adversary is trying to be Christ like. Right. Be like him. See, all of this stuff just points out, are you reading the same book that we're reading now? That's why Dr. Kinley can say it didn't read the same after having the vision and the revelation. Okay, now I looked and I looked and I looked, you know, and sometimes, you know, uh, uh, if, if we didn't keep all our notes and papers and stuff from years ago, it's hard pressed to find this stuff. I remember... You had to be dead close to a hundred years almost mm -hmm. before the Catholic Church would actually begin the process. Oh, yeah. Okay, then they dropped it to 50. Now, the, now here's one in our lifetime. Y'all, I'm going to do for you. Most of us have heard about Mother Teresa mm -hmm. and the good, good work that she did mm -hmm. over there. <clears throat> Mother Teresa... The, the Pope waved his hand over that one, and they only had to wait five years, okay? <laughs> and then I read where it said that the Pope can shorten. By decree, he can shorten the process. Mm -hmm. But see, all this time, they wouldn't until now. Mm -hmm. They're really showing you that all this stuff that, that we would have thought was etched in stone mm -hmm. in their in their canon as they right. call it mm -hmm. it ain't we, we nod nod yeah. we just right. we just gonna change it you know it ain't about nothing that's what it means okay so they changed hers to five years step two a servant of god so they said all of her work in the missionary with the mm -hmm. sick and the you know the uh, <laughs> she was a servant and uh you gotta show proof of a life of heroic virtue. Well, it was, because then she deal with lepers and stuff, you know, yeah, <laughs> Mother Teresa dealt with some people with some communicable diseases. <laughs> okay, now, here's the one, though, the miracles. You have to have proven, right. documented miracles. Yeah. Now, I haven't looked up the ones that she that, did. That she no. did. No. Uh, they went back and canonized one of the popes. And come up with all these, you know, they were scratching, coming up with two or three miracles. Mm -hmm. I hadn't heard about it. Because, see, coming in class, you start watching them and tracking them. Sure. Well, I hadn't heard about these miracles while he was alive, but they sure did dig up some wow. after he died. was first dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, we don't want to be a saint. We want to be a son. son. So, that's a clarification of why we use son. Okay, so... So you go through all those steps, mm -hmm. must be dead, must be a servant, must have heroic virtue, verified mm -hmm. miracles, and then after they go through all the investigation process, um, then the Pope uh, uh, and the people they approve for you to then be receive the designation of a saint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it must be dead first, we'll that see. one tickles me. Mm -hmm. Okay, St. Patrick, this comes from the... Time Magazine, I'm just going to read a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, the modern St. Patrick Day celebration taking place this weekend, which was actually last weekend, mm -hmm. at least in the United States, will likely be characterized by commercial lucky charms mm -hmm. and green beer. So see, it's, 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 it's become merchandise. Right. Just the same, I'm pointing here, but the same way as the birthday of the so-called birthday of the Savior is what has become merchandise. So they have sifted old St. Patrick and made him merchandise. Right. Uh, and it's so funny because, you know, and I never did like it as a kid because their mushrooms, their marshmallows was always stale. The lucky, the lucky charms, you know. We just be surrounded with foolishness and elves and stuff. Leprechauns. Mr. Sue. 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 Mr.
way now it say all of which mm -hmm. this is time now this ain't our Nehemiah all of which has very little to do with the historical figure of the saint don't we say that Every, all, all of that stuff that they attributed, the giving of the gifts and all that, have little to do with the, the Savior. Mm -hmm. Wrong time of the year. Right. He never said to hold it mm -hmm. in celebration. Right. You, you can dig up Peter, Paul, mm -hmm. Matthew, whatever you want to call him, <laughs> son or saint or whoever, right. and start telling about uh, where with, uh, 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 we're going to celebrate uh, the Christmas, uh, right. you know, the, yeah. the, the, uh, his birth. It wasn't. Right. It wasn't. That's why they have they have the problem with. Uh, we was talking about uh, Peter had to be straightened out even after the day of Pentecost because mm -hmm. he still was trying to right. hold to Jewish celebrations Ooh, and right, stuff, right. and the Jews were still trying to make the Gentiles keep their Jewish traditions. Right. None of those traditions. Now, if if it says that he came to blot out the handwriting of ordinance, mm -hmm. all of that worshiping physically, mm -hmm. then why are we going to come over here and institute something else? Mm -hmm. Okay? Because we got to can't help it. So this, 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 this snake here mm -hmm. can't get past what Yahshua was doing on the cross. Mm -hmm. Okay. March 17th celebration started in 1631. But wait a minute now. He goes way back past that. Okay? But 1631 when the church established a feast day to honor him. So in other words, he had already long been dead, mm -hmm. and they got a feast day. Now we've done, we, I know we've done it years ago, take a calendar, and you could do an overlay. Mm -hmm. You can look at old pagan things, oh, yeah. like yeah. Easter, mm -hmm. and how that they have superimposed mm -hmm. over it, a so-called Christianized uh -huh. meaning mm -hmm. for it. Mm -hmm. So they established a feast day at St. Patrick's, but really there was an old pagan feast already oh, going right. on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, he had been, which means all of this wasn't uh, right then while he was alive. That's what I'm struggling with. He mm -hmm. wasn't alive. Mm -hmm. And they say, Patrick? Whither, whither wilt thou celebrate your day? You know, he was dead when all of this stuff came up. Uh, he had been, had been the patron saint of Ireland who died around the 5th century. So if this is 1631 and he died in the 5th century, then that, that means a thousand years afterwards that it started this stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, well, here it is. He had been the patron saint of Ireland who had died around the 5th century, a whopping 12 centuries before the modern version of the holiday was first observed. So he was not in the Wizard of Oz. Not only was he merely dead, he was really, really and sincerely truly, and truly dead. dead. Mm -hmm. Um but very little is known about who he actually was. Uh, according to Marion Casey, a clinical assistant, professor of Ireland study at New York University. And she is, it says in parenthesis, a regular marcher in the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Manhattan. Okay? Um, and then it gives a little bit about him. But this, I'm trying to find one that was okay, real, okay now this is history channel so in other words ain't none of this come from us in the centuries following patrick's death believed to have been on um, believed to have been on march 17th they, they, they don't give it a date they don't know the date mm -hmm. no. 461 the mythology surrounding his life became ever more imagined in the irish culture Perhaps the most well-known legend is that he explained the Holy Trinity, the <laughs> Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, using a three-leaf clover, or the native Irish clover, called the shamrock. So then we wonder why that came up, because that then was a symbol of mm -hmm. the Trinity. 
Now I can say this. Oh, Patrick didn't mm -hmm. understand the Trinity then. Yes. Mm -hmm. They don't understand the, the Trinity, Trinity now because here's another one make you go, whoa. Trinity's not found in the Bible. In fact, is everything in the Bible is just the opposite of that. Right. I and my father are like minded. <laughs> one. One. <laughs> one. Over there, five, it says there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, are what? One. One. Not three persons agreeing in. And then, um, in my uh, Schofield, it says that verse should not be in there. That's what Schofield says. Mm -hmm. Now, in some more recent translations mm -hmm. since Schofield, it won't be in there. Mm -mm. You know where it starts? And there are three that bear witness. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. In earth. You know, it's not even the right. spirit, the water, and the blood. Now, we give this example. When you get something in the mail, you say, oh, doggone, because most of us don't be happy about it. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, doggone. It says, you are summons. Now, you know you ain't got no parking ticket. You ain't did nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, so you ain't worried about that word summons. But that summons means you will report. Mm -hmm. By law, mm -hmm. you must report mm -hmm. for jury duty. Aye. Okay, so we say I. <laughs> I went, it was 4,000 people sitting on the well. We were in the convention center. I know, I know at least had to be a thousand people that day. And they were doing this twice a day, mm. all week long. And they would say, we need you for this week, this day, to this week, or this week, you know, for two a two-week period. Mm -hmm. You know, if you just can't because of medical, if you, if you have a reason that's legitimate, that, 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 that come up and tell us, you know. And what they're doing, they, they're winnowing it down. They're winnowing it down. You know, they were too, when you heard all these chairs scuffle, they say, wait now, gotta be, you know, gotta be <laughs> too many rows. Gotta be a good reason, you know. Uh, and and uh, it, uh, some that won't, now you might get a murder trial. Is it some that, you know, you don't want? Look, that was a, ju a jury pool. Has anyone ever been summoned for a witness pool? Ain't no such thing. We watch that stuff on TV. <laughs> and we in Memphis were, were without excuse because we had a woman that was a witness locator for the court system. Joyce. Oh, I yeah. said, Joyce, yeah. man, you, you a bold one. <laughs> Some of these thugs done, done got arrested. And they round it. You know how they do. They, they can identify one mm -hmm. and they go get all the known associates yeah, and yeah. bring them in. Now, the known associates may or may not have been with them. Right. So they start offering up what? Excuses. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Me and Pookie, we was playing. <laughs> well, we, I don't want to really get it. Okay, well, you know, it is, and they tell you it's got nothing to do with the bearing of this case. Okay, well, we was playing crap behind the liquor store. Well, who was there? Well, Pinto was there, and Pookie was there, and what is Pookie and Pinto's name? Mm -hmm. Now, her job is got to take, sometimes to just take a description mm -hmm. and go up into those places and try to find them yeah. and say, you know, can you help your partner out because he's using you as a witness. Mm -hmm. So, you are witnessing to a specific event. Right. That's the whole point. They just don't have people that go down there and sit. And then in trial, say, Catherine, can you come and and fill yeah, the witness is. stand? Yeah, as a witness. You you say what trial? <coughs> you don't know nothing about it. Right, a right. witness has seen something, right? Or can <coughs> give some sort of evidence mm -hmm. to something. Mm -hmm. That's why they got even even like they they talk about the profilers, mm -hmm. and they talk about uh, when the people want to. Uh, start playing crazy. I've been to watch two two shows on that. They're, they're playing crazy and they've got all of the uh, uh, different the, uh, the prosecution have a what psychologist, the defense have a psychologist, yeah. and they didn't like that. And then they called, they had four, oh, two each. Mm -hmm. and both of them said that that the man was crazy, that he had a mental illness. Mm -hmm. But you know what knocked it out the box? They had evidence. Mm -hmm that he had planned it mm -hmm. in advance. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
carefully mm -hmm. in advance. So it wasn't a spur of the moment, uh, what they call that stuff, in the, in the heat of the action stuff. Mm -hmm. right. Now, there's some witnesses in the earth. Well, what are they witnessing to? The record that's in heaven. Right. So you can take it out the book if you want to. Mm -hmm. They still bear record because they agree mm -hmm. in the one. Right. So then you say when you show somebody, well, they the three these three oh that's not supposed to be in there. Well, let, well let's back it up to Deuteronomy to they mm -hmm. call it the Shema. Hear, O Israel, Yahweh thy Elohim. Is Yahweh a what a unity. unity? And one of the translations say is one. Mm -hmm. Over there in the prophets, because you gotta go law prophet right. fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Over there it says, and in that day, Yahweh, Yahweh shall prove, prove to be good. what? A, a unity. unity. And yeah, with, with how many names? Name? With one name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With one name. So Shamrock, mm -hmm. <laughs> St. Patrick, <laughs> knocking them out the park. <laughs> Okay, now this one tickled me. It's supposed to be Irish. Uh, New York had a high concentration of Irish immigrants, especially after the, during the, the so-called potato famine. I figured, you know, even in history I couldn't, I guess that's all it grew was, uh, no, it said the potatoes were blighted. And that was the bulk of the food stock was potatoes. And they was getting up out of there, coming to America. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, it says more than a hundred St. Patrick's Day parades are held all across the United States, uh, New York City, and Boston. See those that that East Coast yeah. mm -hmm. uh, are home to the largest celebrations. And I, I, something came to mind, but I I, I need to look it up. Um, but the Irish were forced to take the jobs that did nobody else want. And many of them became civil servants and police. Police, yeah. Okay. Uh, since around the 9th or 10th century, people in Ireland have been observing the Roman Catholic feast day of St. Patrick on May 17th, March 17th. Mm -hmm. The first parade held to honor St. Patrick, now this one, like, what? <laughs> Took place not in Ireland. But in the United States, see, we are gumbo, a melted mm -hmm. pot of foolishness. Yeah. Uh, St. Patrick's Day took place not in Ireland, but in the United States on March 17, 1762. That's even before the 1776, that's even before mm -hmm. we filed for independence. Why? Right. Irish soldiers serving in the uh, English military marched through New York City. Uh, um, along with their music, the parade helped the soldiers reconnect with their Irish roots as well as other fellow Irishmen serving in uh, the army. Okay, this one was just in Google, Growth of St. Patrick's Day Celebration. In 1848, several New York Irish societies decided to unite their parades to form one official New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade. Um, dang, I had, oh, here, here they are. It was the Friendly Sons of St. Patrick mm -hmm. and the Hibernian Society. I do think, Rodney, look up that, not today, but look up that Hibernian. I think it's still around. You got to spell it H-I-B-E-R-N-I-A-N. Uh, and I think I had seen it on that boardwalk empire because Nookie mm. was Irish. And they, they went to this dinner of the high burning. And then there was the high rollers and the men of money and renown that was in control mm. were in that high burning, oh, okay. that high burning society. But anyway, they merged together rather than having two parades, they merged together into one. Mm. Today, that parade is the world's. Largest, no, 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 world's oldest civilian parade and the largest in the United States with over 1,500 participants. Now, that don't say people standing on the curb. That's people marching yeah. in the parade. <laughs> Every year, nearly 3 million people line the 1.5 mile parade route to, rock, to watch the procession which takes more than five hours 
uh, in New York. And then it talks about Boston, Chicago, Philadelphia, uh, Savannah. Uh, their parades may have 10,000 or 20,000. I don't know how long, who, many, who was down there for our parade. Mm -hmm. But the, the point is that I was trying to make, Yahweh has delivered. Not that any of us was, oh, and then it was one of these things, I'm not going to waste time on it. But people will tell you, uh, did you wear your green today? No. And they ain't got a drop of Irish blood. No. I, it tickled me. You know, but right. people run up to me. Did you wear your green? I said, I got some Irish. Do you? I am out of order. Are you? You know, just, just picking up traditions that have nothing to do with you. Originally, green wasn't the color. So when you start tracing this back, it goes back to the pagan traditions and colors and celebrations and things that uh, had happened. And I was surprised that I, I, out of all of this, I didn't see what they used to tell us in school. St. Patrick was the one that was supposedly drove the snakes out of Ireland. <laughs> but see, the thing is, it's like Rodney <laughs> said, I'm just pointing here, mm -hmm. it don't matter if you drove the snake down to the sea. Mm -hmm. Because that water ain't going to do them but kill that snake's body. The same way when Pharaoh marched in the Red Sea after right. Israel and their dead carcasses washed up on the shore. Right. Them disembodied demons went right on. Mm -hmm. So it don't matter right. if he drove something physically mm -hmm. into the lake. We want to fear the one that can take him, hold him to death, hell, and the grave mm -hmm. are going into the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. Now top that one, Mr. Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> With those words, I thank you. Hallelujah. I'd like to say good afternoon to the class. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And um, I truly enjoyed uh, the things that I have heard and I was listening to how many miles uh, when you were talking about that they go and it's 1.5, there's yeah. 6. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm just really thankful to Yahshua that he um, made me to come to class today and I have been uh, truly edified. Um, I was thinking about back over there, I couldn't find it in Deuteronomy, I think it was, where the uh, Mount Perizim and Mount um, where he had the blessing and the curses. Yeah, yeah. And he said, if you uh, will serve Yahweh and you be obedient and all that, then this is what you would get. And if you didn't, then this is what you would get. So that's what I was uh, looking for, but I, I couldn't find it. But um, the witnesses that Yahshua have given unto us, you know that, yes, these things are true. Let's get Romans 1, 19 and 20 for me, please. Uh, it's just so much in that, uh, to just to see everything, how the previous vessels even started out with the numbers and what they mean. And I remember when this um, Yahshua spoke to the vessel and said, every number in the book of Numbers is talking about Yahshua. You know, so everything that's going on is really talking about him. And that's uh, what we are here for. The first aim is to, is to help you find and know Yahweh, our Elohim, as he really is and as he actually exists. Read please, Romans 1, 19. Because that which may be known of Yahweh uh -huh. is manifest in them. Read please. For Yahweh hath showed it unto them. Mm -hmm. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. They are clearly seen. Being understood by the things that are made. Being understood by the things that are made. Read. Even his eternal power. Now it said, even his eternal power. And supernal nature. And supernal nature, which is the Godhead, read. So that they are without excuse. So that they are without excuse. And all along what you have is people talking about it's a trinity, it's a trinity. But everything that Yahweh even gave mankind, mm -hmm. when you go back and it talks about going back, okay, mm -hmm. you look at the ark that he uh, gave mm -hmm. to Noah. It was a upper deck, a middle deck, and a lower deck. There was one ark, but it was one, two, three. Okay? If you go to the tabernacle, it was a most holy place, holy place, and a court round about. 
one, two, three. Okay? If you go to the temple, it was an oracle, a sanctuary, and a porch. One, two, three. Everything is telling you these three are one, these three are one, these three are one. Okay, then you don't want that. Go look in the mirror. You said, now you got a head cavity, a chest cavity, a abdominal cavity. These three are one. You know, just one. The earth itself, mm -hmm. what is it, a crust, a core, and a mantle, right. or something like that? Mm -hmm. An egg and a shell, mm -hmm. the white and the yolk. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on now. A tree, you got the branches, the trunk, and the roots. Mm -hmm. right? I mean, everything is telling you that it's one. It's one. So when we read over there in 1 John 5 and 7, you know, it's just, let's read that. 1 John 5 and 7, King James, please. Because it's like, you know, they don't want to accept, and here it is, really, the evidence. Because all of this is like the previous vessel was saying, you don't go out there and say, you know, bringing a whole bunch of people, I want you to serve as a witness. You want the one who saw what happened, mm -hmm. and know what happened, mm -hmm. and can tell you, even if you twist stuff around, and say, no, it didn't happen like that, it happened this way. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're looking for, you're looking for a true witness. Well, how much more? We got all of the witnesses. It says that Hebrews 12 mm -hmm. and 1. Because, see, we are without excuse. We can say what we want to, you know, and all of that is just is no excuse. Hebrews 12 and 1. Read, please. Wherefore, seeing we are. Wherefore, seeing, read. We also are compassionate. We also. It didn't it hadn't stopped. It didn't stop back here with the heart. Mm -hmm. It didn't stop back here with the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. It didn't mm -hmm. stop with That's the right. temple. It has not stopped. Okay? okay. It mm -hmm. said what? Wherefore seeing we also are compassionate. Wherefore seeing we also are compassed about, read. With so great a, with so great a cloud of witnesses, read. Let us lay aside every way. Read, please. And the sin which doth so easily beset us. Read, please. And let us run with patience uh -huh. the race that is set before us. Read. Looking unto Yahshua. Looking unto Yahshua, read. The author. You got the author, the and, A, uh -huh. and, and the finisher of read, our, of our, of our faith. faith. You see, we, he's the author and the finisher of our faith, okay? He was the one who stepped forth, you know, okay. and said, hey, look, this is how it's going to be. You know, when you get over there in Isaiah, he said, I have purposed it, and I will also do it. So, and in it, we don't have no excuse. Nope. I don't care what has, you know, people have said, well, the dictionaries now don't have this. In the dictionary, you don't have any excuse. I can't find you don't have an excuse. Because he said, now look, if you're going to look, 1 John 5 and 7, read please. Because I mean, it's just here. It's just everywhere you look, you got the evidence. Read. For there are three that bear record in heaven. It said, for there are three that bear record in heaven. Well, what is a record? Someone look that up. Read please. The Father. You got the Father, who is Yahweh. Read. The Word. The Word. That's Elohim. Read. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. And these three are the one. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And, and on this chart it said unity uh -huh. of the Spirit. Right. Well, what is a unity then? Read. And there are three that bear witness in earth. So you got a witness in the earth. Are we not of the earth earthy? Mm -hmm. So we got a witness in the earth. Did nobody go out and shoot the witness and we don't have another one? They said, right. you right. got a witness right. in the earth. So every, everybody that's walking around in the earth plane has this witness in himself. Right. right. You got blood. You got water. Mm -hmm. You got the breath of life. Mm -hmm. That's spirit. Blood, water, spirit. These three have to do what? Agree in one. Because if you got blood in your water, you got a problem, mm -hmm. vice versa. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then this is what's going on. You can't live without the spirit. Like the vessel was talking about, you got to be dead. No. You got the spirit, you got the water, you got the blood. And it said, now this is your witness in earth. And we are of the earth, earthy. And these three have to do what? 
agree in one. They have to agree in one. When you go back over here with the children of Israel, it was said over here in Deuteronomy, it says, excuse me, here, O Israel, Yahweh, our Elohim, is Yahweh a unity. It didn't say nothing about a trinity. And people really, they don't understand how Yahweh is pure spirit. Okay. Yahweh take on a descriptive shape and form, and Yahweh manifests in the flesh. That's the problem. But see, if you look at the things that are made, now look, Get over there in Acts 17 and, and 28, very quickly, please. Because, uh, see, all of this is, is what you have going on where we are without excuse, really. You know, and that's, that's all that it is. We can uh, come up with any excuse we want, but it said we are without excuse. Read, please. For in him. For in him. Now, when the moderator get up here and, and, and uh, do the moderation, and it talks about this cloud going all around the edge of this chart to show you and me that everything on this chart is within the cloud. It said, now, for what? For in him. For in him. Read. We live. Uh-huh. And move. Mm -hmm. And have our being. Uh-huh. And certain also of our of your own poets have said. Uh-huh. For we are also his offspring. Uh-huh. For as much then as we are the offspring of Yahweh, uh -huh. we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art. Now the previous vessel had labored with those things and we're not talking about this from a natural mm -hmm. physical standpoint. These are things that just, you're taking your Romans 1, 19 and 20, using the natural to point to the spiritual things. Read, please. Our, okay, let me start up. Let me start up. For as much then as we are the offspring of Yahweh, mm -hmm. we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by arts and man's device. Now, it says, now we ought not to think that way. Why? Because... John 4, 24 said, Yahweh is spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, you're the offspring of him. Then you ought to be trying to figure out, well, how does that work? You know, what's going on here? You know, if I'm an offspring, if I'm your offspring, that I'm related to you mm -hmm. some kind of way. And there's no place that you can go and say, well, I'm not no kin to them folks. I don't, <laughs> even, I don't care what you dislike about them. And believe me, they can push that button sometimes. You say, no, ain't none of my folks. But they are. Yeah. <laughs> but he said, now look, we're the offspring of Yahweh. So what if Yahweh is spirit? So we are spirit materialized. Okay. That's who we are, whether we want to be or not. You know, some, no, I, mm -mm, no, read, please. 30. Mm -hmm. At the times of this ignorance, uh -huh. Yahweh winked at. Now, it was a time that said Yahweh winked at this ignorance. Read. But now, come Present tense, but now. Just like the previous vessel was talking about when we was reading over there uh, in, in Chronicles. And it's talking about the things that happened back there. Well, that which has been is now. That which is to be has already been. And there's no new thing under the sun. It's the repetition of this. So what we have, just we be talking about back here at Moses, you see the repetition. But guess what? It's a different manifestation down here. But the principle remains the same. And that's what we are after is those spiritual principles of how Yahweh is showing us present day how things are just as the thing that happened back here, how they happening down here now. They went off into idolatry. The previous vessel was talking about St. Patrick's Day, all those pagan holidays that they that dragon just drug it on, on and just keep on dragging it. You know, and then that's what's going on. So you see it just study. And that study building up, building up. But it's headed right on here. That's, that's its final destination to trace and to track that mystery of iniquity from its inception to its ultimate end. And all those things will be cast into the lake of fire. They will be consumed because Yahweh, our Elohim, is a consuming fire. Mm -hmm. Unity. Did you find definition for unity? Oh, I thought you'd ask for record. Read that. Read record. Okay, record. Mm -hmm. A thing. A what? A thing. Uh-huh. Constituting a piece of evidence. Uh, listen, constituting a piece of evidence, read. About the past. Uh-huh. Especially an account. 
an account of an act an account of an act or occurrence a occurrence read kept in writing listen it's kept in <clears throat> writing so if you go you want to know about something that happened out there said well I'm going down here and I'm gonna search these records down at the at the courthouse I'm going down here downtown in Memphis down mm -hmm. here and I'm gonna see I'm gonna ask the department of this or the department of that and see can't they pull the record on what happened in so and so so and so time or with your property you know when where did it come from you know what was here before my house was here was a lake here <laughs> you know so right. sometimes people need, I'm telling you it's like I was sharing with the vessel this morning when they had the uh, all the people out uh, east, they had pumped the, all the water out of a certain area, and they built homes there. Well, later on, the water came back, and it just was flooding the area. People was, I mean, it was a car off in, you know, where they got the, you go down and the street come up like that. Yeah. All of that was just water. It was just water, so they had to put up where they couldn't even go home, except they had to go around and come in another way, and all their stuff was floating down the street. The garbage can, the patio furniture, everything was going down the street. I said, now you watch. When that happened, then what the people did, they put their houses up for sale, and people running out there thinking they're getting a nice home, but they don't know the history. <laughs> of the property because right. water going to seek its own level, right. Right. right? So if it was there before, they showed a whole town, you're going to build a levee. We love this area. They built a whole town and that water come through, broke down the levee, washed away the whole town, not part of the town, the whole town. And it was like the town never existed. Yeah. And you know what they say? We're going to build it again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they keep telling them, the water going to come back. We're going to rebuild. Okay. Read. I'm at the record. Or some other, let's see, uh, especially an account mm -hmm. of an act or occurrence kept, uh -huh. kept in writing. Kept in writing. Or some other permanent form or some other per okay permanent form so what did Yahweh do to make sure I don't care you can burn up all the books or whatever you want to do but you have this witness where in you mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he said no you're not that you're not your own you're oh, bought with a price so he said glorify Yahweh in your heart in your mind in your spirit which are his okay and this is what you have you have the record and you have the witness and like the previous us was saying, you don't go out somewhere and just get somebody to, to serve as a witness. You can't do that. You got to get somebody who know what happened, mm -hmm. who can mm -hmm. tell you the story. And even when you try to twist them around, they say, no, mm -hmm. that's not true. Mm -hmm. So what is going on now? They're trying to twist us around mm -hmm. and tell us it's a trinity when we know better. Mm -hmm. It's a unity because he has given us this mm -hmm. in ourselves. And we are made in his image and after his likeness. Right. And we have a head cavity, a chest cavity, and an abdominal cavity. And these three are one. Now we have these, the hands and legs and all that, the 12 tribes surrounding, so, just as you had the 12 tribes surrounding this tabernacle here that was erected in the wilderness, you know, and everything. But see the whole thing here, you can live without the arms and the legs. Mm -hmm. But you can't live without the head, the chest, That's and the right. abdomen, the cavity. Why? Because it's, I just say, it's set in stone. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, and these three are one. Uh, next Unity. definition. Unity. Unity. Uh, take it from Google search. Uh-huh. It's a noun. It's a noun. What is a noun? <laughs> Read, please. Uh, one. Now look, right off the bat. Oh no, this is number one. It's a number one. Mm -hmm. It is one. The state of being uni united. The state of being united. If you are united, you are what? Together. Mm -hmm. As one. As one. United. Read. Or joined. Or joined. As Read. a whole. A joined as a whole. As a whole. Okay, read. In mathematics, mm -hmm. the number one. Uh-huh. Okay, from um, Miriam. 
Webster, mm -hmm. unity is defined, the quality or state of not being multiple. Not being multiple? So multiple, they say it's a trinity. But it says unity is not being multiple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not. Mm -hmm. Now that's just... It's just the opposite. That's, yeah. But like the previous justice was saying, everything that's true, the opposite is a lie. Okay, I'll be like the Most High, mm -hmm. and that's what you have in Isaiah 14. Get, uh, thank you. Read Zechariah 14 and 89. I'll be there. Cause I'm just truly thankful for the things that I have heard and that, and to be truly edified this morning in those things, and to show how uh, Yahweh have got the scriptures together, and then to uh, bring you down, uh, sit you down, and let you see how they are when we talk about the natural things that happen that's pointing you up to the spirit of the thing. And it's saying, we know that we are of Yahweh in the whole world, alive in wickedness. Read, please. You say Zechariah? In Zechariah 14, 8 and 9. 8 and 9. Mm -hmm. And it shall be in that day. It shall be in that day, read. That living waters mm -hmm. shall go out from Jerusalem. That living waters shall go out from Jerusalem. Half of them toward the former sea, uh -huh. and half of them toward the hinder sea, uh -huh. in summer and in winter, said mm -hmm. it be. And Yahweh mm -hmm. shall be king over all the earth. Okay. Mm -hmm. In that day uh -huh. shall there be one Yahweh. One. One Yahweh. Yahweh has always, mm -hmm. you know, and that's the whole thing, to come to class and to, to learn how Yahweh is the only true Elohim and Yahshua the Messiah whom the Father has sent. One, two, three, yet one. And when this uh, vessel was talking, I, I really enjoyed uh, the witness how she said, when you be learning how to dance, they say, one, two, three, one, two, sure. three. You know, everything is at one, two, three, one, two, three, you know, and that's what you're looking at. So I'm just truly thankful to Yahweh through his son, Yahshua, for him allowing me to be at class today, making me get up and come to class today and to sit and to hear what thus said Joshua to his assembly. And with those words, I say hallelujah. 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 This concludes our class for today. Let us stand by our doxology. Our doxology is taken from Jude, verse 24, 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Elohim, our Savior, through Yahshua the Messiah, our Sovereign, belong glory and majesty, dominion and power, both before all time and now and ever. Let us all say, Hallelujah. 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 Right on, King Yahshua, no man cannot hinder me. Right on, King Yahshua, right on, no man cannot hinder me, no man.